Hi lovelies! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this sultry, smoky eye with no eyeliner. That's right, girlfriend. This is all just eyeshadow, no falsies. This is just mascara and a plump lip using a secret ingredient or a secret product. I'm going to look very different when it goes to the next screen. Um, was trying out a scrunchie, that wasn't working. Had to clip my bangs out of the way so you could see what I was doing. Um, but just know that we get there eventually. If you would like to see more content of mine in the future, you can subscribe to my channel if you would like and leave a comment down below, give the video a like if you like how it turned out and as always, enjoy. All right, we are just going to get the party started. And I almost didn't include this in the video, but then I was like, you know what? This is an important step. This is part of the makeup routine. So right now, I am moisturizing my skin with the Josie Marin Argan Oil. And if you don't moisturize your face properly before it... Before it... Before it this is how we're starting the video. Okay. If you don't moisturize your face properly before applying your foundation, it's not going to look as smooth and flawless. It's gonna look dry and cakey, and that's not what we want. So, you should always prep your skin by moisturizing, either with a cream or an oil, whatever is best for your skin type. I also moisturize my lips. I just use this Lush Key Lime Pie Lip Balm because those get pretty dry too, you know what I'm saying? So, any hoosers. As you could tell by the intro, I am going to do a natural smoky eye today. And I am going to use my trusty Lorac Pro 2 palette, which just exploded all over my thigh. Can you see that? So what I am doing first is lay down the tape, which is crucial for any kind of smoky eye. I'm going to bobby pin my bangs out of the way. I look good. Oh good, I got it on my finger. So first things first, I'm going to use this Morphe Fluffy Brush. It's a 573. And I am going to take this color right here, which is called Buff. And this is going to be our transition shade that will um, transition our colors to blend together nicely. Hence the word transition shade. I just realized I've never actually explained what a transition shade is in my videos because I just assume that like everyone who watches knows everything about makeup. And that I did sis. This is one of those colors that like really just blends into, <gasps> I forgot to prime my eyelids. I'm gonna prime with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I talk about this in my full face drugstore makeup routine and how it does a really good job and it's a lot cheaper than some high-end eyeshadow primers. So if you're like, Ugh, I don't feel like investing in eyeshadow primer, girl, it's like three dollars. It might even be a dollar, I don't know. You can't beat that, you just can't. Now on my Morphe 532 brush, I'm going to take this color which is called light brown and I always tap it off so that we're not applying too much and I'm just very lightly, you obviously can't see and feel how light the pressure is, but I am like barely using any pressure to lay down this color. If you go in too hard, it's not going to blend as well and it's gonna look too harsh. We want everything to blend and transition really nicely into each other. Now, as you can see, our brushes are getting gradually smaller and smaller. This is a Morphe 514 brush, and I'm going to take this next color. We're basically just going down the line here. So I'm going to mix this color, which is called Cool Gray, and I'm gonna take a little bit of Nectar as well and sort of mix them together 
and then we are just going to continue to move down the eyelid. Now on a Morphe 507 brush, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called charcoal, and I'm going to start applying that across the lash line and blending it into the tape. Make sure that the tape does not come off your eye because then we're not gonna get the nice blend that we want. And I'm going to start to do that V formation where I take it along here to a point and then I bring it into the crease a little bit. Again, very light pressure. And then lastly, for the dark colors, on a Morphe 431 brush, we are going to take this color, which is black, and we are just, I probably picked up way too much. That's gonna come out very pigmented. And we want it to be very smoky. Um, so I'm just going to focus this in the outer corner and going to give the illusion of like a winged liner, but it's gonna be really smoked out with the tape there. I promise this will look way better once we take the tape off. Now on a Morphe 167 brush, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Mocha, I'm really gonna pick that up, but I'm still gonna tap it off. And then we are just going to start applying this on the eyelid. I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of cocoa too, just cause it's a little lighter than I was anticipating. And I sort of want something to blend in with the black. Now I'm just wiping the brush off. You could use a tissue, which will be a lot cleaner, but I'm just using my hand because why not? <clears throat> and now on the same brush, I'm going to use this color right here, which is called Rosé. It has the little accent over the E, so I'm assuming it's pronounced Rosé. And I'm just going to lightly tap that over top of what we just put down, just to lighten it up a little bit. Now it is time to take off the tape. So we got a little outside of the tape there. I can see that now. Um, before I continue with my face, I'm going to wash my hand and my thigh and um, the remaining makeup off of my face. Be right back. I'm back and my face is clean and my hand is clean and my thigh is clean. So, we are ready to move on to the face portion of the video. First things first, I'm going to prime my face with the Revlon Rose Glow Illuminating and Hydrating Face Primer. Now I'm going to mix my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the color Porcelain. And I'm gonna take a little of that Milani foundation that I was not a fan of in my video, but I just take the tiniest, it's right there, just the tiniest little amount because it did have really good coverage. It just made my face very cakey. So I kind of just mix the two together so that I get the combination of good coverage and also like a more dewy finish. Because girl, I like cake, just not on my face. <laughs> Now you can totally just use a sponge to blend out your foundation, but I like to do the two, two blend method. So I take a Morphe 439 brush, which is like this dense 
brush and I kind of just pound it into my face with the brush first and then I will go in with the conceal or with the sponge. I just feel like the brush gives me the best coverage because sometimes the sponge can absorb too much of the product, but the brush kind of leaves like those little like brush marks in your face. It's not always very even. So that's why I like to go in with the sponge after and just lightly clean it up. Now again, I'm going to mix two concealers. I'm going to mix the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And first I'm using the color Natural. And then I reviewed this e.l.f. 16-hour um, Camo Concealer. This shade is way too light for me. And it was also very thick. And it ended up looking cakey at the end of the day. And I thought it was because of the concealer. But then I found out that the powder I was using is what made it um, creasy and cakey. Because my LA Girl Pro Concealer is my favorite concealer. It never makes my under eyes creasy. And I always set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And it's like perfectly fine. But then I used my LA Girl Pro Concealer with the Fit Me loose powder and it looked cakey at the end of the day. So I was like, okay, it's got to be the powder. So I'm going to give the concealer a second chance and kind of just blend it in with the other one for a little added brightness and probably even a little extra coverage. So that being said, I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm still hopeful that there is another drugstore setting powder out there that I would like just as much, but unfortunately attempt number one was a fail. So I'm using a Morphe 438 brush to just set the concealer under my eyes and my nose and my chin, basically like my T-zone area. Now, I really like the Rimmel Stay Matte Bronzing Powder. So this is in their lightest bronze shade. So I'm just gonna use a Morphe 527 brush, pick that up, and then start bronzing my cheekbones, my chin. And then I'm still going to contour my nose with this little elf. This is an eye crease brush, but it's obviously really small, which I need to, I just contour like the tip of my nose. And then I blend it out. For blush, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in Beloved, which is this really pretty like pinky, corally color. I feel like it's not coming up. <laughs> I'm looking at it in the camera and I'm looking at it in my mirror and they are two totally different colors. Um, everything looks very white and washed out right now. So I'm taking it on an e.l.f. powder brush. Really tap off the excess. And then I start like on the apple of my cheek and I kind of blend it upwards lightly. Ooh, this one's actually very pigmented. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy powder brush with nothing on it and kind of just blend that out. And then I take a little on the bridge of my nose. And I have re-fallen back in love with my Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. So on a Morphe 501 brush, I'm going to pick up the highlighter and then just, and this is without even like wetting the brush. So that's gorge. Like, right? Right. <gasps> yep. I don't know why I'm like always so amazed by it. Like it's the first time I've seen it. That's how good it is. Okay. 
Now to finish up the eyes, we are going to go back into our Lorac palette and take that big old fluffy brush again. And this time we're gonna go straight into light brown. Tap off the excess. And then we are going to blend that out underneath our lower lash line. Now I'm going to line my upper and water Upper and water, mm-hmm. My upper and lower lash line. Using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in brown. Then for mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. You know the stinking drill at this point. If you have been watching any of my other videos and if you haven't and this is your first video hi welcome so glad you joined me here today and instead of using the essence false lashes mascara which is my favorite i'm going to use the l'oreal lash voluminous lash paradise mascara Now for the last step is the lips. So we're gonna keep it lighter since our eyes are darker. And I wanna do something kind of glossy too since the eyes are very um, like sultry. So first I'm going to take this Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in the color Whisper, which I need to sharpen this clearly, but I'm gonna lay this down as a base. This is actually really pretty just on its own. But for the heck of it, since I already brought it out, I'm going to top it with this Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the color Soft Rose. Ooh, that's very ASMR, right? No, that one, that wasn't good. Hold on. Let me try again. It wasn't as good as the first one. Anyway, I'm just gonna focus this in the center. just to top it off. So anyway, my beautiful, lovely, gorgeous friends, this is the completed look. There's a little stick on my teeth. I know I said at the beginning of this that this was gonna be like a natural smoky eye. Definitely took a turn that I wasn't expecting, but I'm not mad at it. So instead, this is gonna be our sultry smoky eye. And then on a different day, I'll show you how to do a natural smoky eye. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I hope you still enjoyed this video. I guess you knew what you were getting into when you watched the intro. But regardless, um, I will leave all the products listed down below that I used and I will see you hopefully in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.